Hello everyone, this is Thumpsy Collector here with another action figure review. Sorry I've been a little uh, behind with all the action figure stuff, but I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So uh, I've been busy with school. I got Twitch, TikTok, and all that crazy stuff work. But I'm going to try my best to get through all these action figures that I got. I got a whole bunch to do still. So uh, yeah, just look forward to a lot of content. But here we got the retro Ben Riley figure here from the Spider-Man Retro Wave. And here it is from the front. We got that Spider-Man Retro logo here. Marvel Comics logo here in the corner. And then we got that nice billboard picture of Ben Riley here. Looks really good. And you get that figure, nothing on the top side or bottom. Here's the back with that same Ben Riley billboard there. Same retro logo, Marvel logo. And then here is showing you how you can switch off the hands for Ben Riley. You get a description here. Here's all the figures in this wave. You got um, Spider Armor Mark One, which we already did. We got Hammerhead, which is coming up. We got Symbiote Spider Man, which we already did. We got Hobgoblin, still need to get him. Then we got Shocker, which was also coming up. And then we, here's the DCPI. But besides that, that's all we got. So let's crack him open. And here is the Ben Riley figure out of the package here. And oh my God, it looks so good. I do have a little problem. It's just a very small thing really about it. But besides that, I'll show you the accessories now. So we got two fisted hands, one for each hand or arm, I mean. So yeah, we got those. We got the finger, uh, the fingerless, uh, not fingerless, but yeah. We got the red fingers for the uh, index finger, pinky, and thumb with the webbed lines. Looks a little messy a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, along the thumb, it looks a little I think there's a little splotch of paint that's there, but besides that, it's we've seen these hands before, just different repaint. So and then we got finally got wall crawling hands for these figures. So yeah, it's awesome. Like I said, same deal with the fingers. We got the red fingers for the thumb, index finger, and pinky, and then blue for the rest. So yeah, looks pretty cool. And that's all we got for accessories here. So here is Ben Riley up close. So yeah, we got this. It, so basically, this whole mold is the same exact mold as the classic retro figure. Um, the only thing that's different is the paint job and some extra accessories added to it. So we'll go over that. So we've seen this head sculpt before. You got this nice, clean cobwebbing look here. Nice, clean eyes here. And then we got this nice big spider across the chest and it goes all the way around to the back. I don't think, I think the original one, it had a peg hole in the back. I think they decided not to do that with this figure, thank God. Um, and then you got the blue sleeves here. You got the shoulders. Um, and then you got the bulky web shooters, which he, is his classic look. And then you got whipping hands for one for each arm. And then you got the blue... Uh, pants here with some red cobwebbing across the foot on the outer part of the leg and foot. So yeah, and then unfortunately you do get peg holes still for these this guy. I like how they try to hide the peg holes by painting them. Like you only see one peg hole really, and it's these red ones because they were trying to hide it with that right there so i don't blame them for that but i hope they make a new one just so they could hide the peg holes for both the arms and the legs so really need to get into that um pinless stuff with the spider-man figures for sure but besides that it doesn't look that bad it's not a big problem um but yeah and let's go over the articulation for this guy oh yeah one more thing he does have this notch in the back for his head movement so you can look up that far down that far you, you get a little race car helmet look there you, you can pivot his head all around left and right movement side to side uh shoulders can move this guy's a little stiff so i'm not trying to break him but he moves out that far i, I think he can go farther than that but he's pretty stiff 360 rotation around the shoulder you got butterfly joints that go down up that far backwards that far uh you got uh, biceps will double jointed elbows. This guy is a little soft. I think I have a second one coming in from GameStop though. Wrist can hinge, hinge up or down that far. Down or up that far. 
360 rotation around the wrist. You got a diaphragm joint. So you can go forward that much with that, backwards that much with it, side to side motion, some twisting. And then you also got that lower ab crunch there. So you can, with all that, you can go forward that much, backwards a whole lot. And the legs has to drop down hips, which make them kick out farther. It doesn't want to right now, but kick forward that much, which is insane. Backwards, not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double joint knees. Uh, I like the th shin cuts because it seems very seamless. So that's nice. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the classic Spider-Man right here and the uh, Ben Riley one right here. And I was wrong about the whole pin, I meant, you know, the uh, pin piece in the back. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's Ben Riley figure for you. He comes with the, the right amount of accessories. Um, if I wish they added in a little bit of web accessories, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm happy that they added in the wall crawling hands because those were we've been missing for the other Spider-Man. Sadly, we don't have any for them yet, but... Uh, yeah, and like I said, it's basically a recolor of the original retro figure. I'm happy that they're reusing the retro figure body sculpt for more figures. They need to keep doing that because I love this mold, especially with the extra uh, articulation and stuff like that. Uh, I do recommend you get him because this is the one that I really, really, really wanted. Besides the Spider Armor Mark 1, the Spider Armor Mark 1 is like one of the top 10 things, top 5 things that I wanted on my wish list for marvel legends so uh this one was awesome i do have the ben riley one uh with the carnage head sculpt but that's pizza spidey one and i'm kind of i'm kind of using him as spider carnage right now so i won't really consider him as a spidey i mean, he obviously is but i'm not gonna get into detail with it like i said i highly recommend you get him he is worth it uh he's pretty hard to find so if you find him don't waste as don't like, don't hesitate to get him. Get him if you really do want him. Um, but, yeah, that's all I really got with this figure. Um, if you guys want to help support me on my TikTok, go ahead and check that out. It's in my link tree in my bio, in my description. And I also got um, TikTok, my Twitch and Twitter. If you want to help support me on that, also in my description. But besides that, thanks for watching.